Hi, I'm Jennifer Robinson, District A representative. Welcome to Carry Matters. We created this show to help keep you informed about the issues affecting our community. Now, it's been a little over a year since Cary voters overwhelmingly approved the Shaping Cary's Tomorrow Bond referendum. Staff has been at hard at work on the improvements these bonds make possible. So I wanted to give you a brief update on some of the bond funded projects that are already getting underway since you approved them. Today I want to talk about parks projects and I'll talk about the transportation bond projects in a separate video which you'll find on our YouTube channel. Cary's open spaces contribute greatly to the quality of life in our community. So it was important to us when we were envisioning the bonds to set aside funding to make sure that future generations in Cary can enjoy the outdoors over all of our community. The bond package allocated $20 million for open space land acquisition. And I'm happy to say that in August of 2020, Cary purchased 217 acres of former farmland along the Ernest Jones Road at a cost of $13.6 million. This land will eventually be used for recreational activities and open space preservation. Additionally, staff is also developing an open space policy that will guide us in our future land acquisitions. The next phase of the downtown park project is currently in the final stages of design. The parks bond also allocated $15 million to Carpenter Fire Station, Road Park, and McCrimmon Park which together will give visitors a wide variety of recreation opportunities. McCrimmon Park will feature tennis and pickleball courts and a community garden, while Carpenter Fire Station Road Park features youth ball fields, adult fitness, basketball, and a dog park. Both parks will also include playgrounds and play lawns and trails and more. There's just going to be a, a wide variety of activities at both of these parks. Design on each of these projects is currently underway, and both projects are on pace to welcome their first visitors in 2023. The bond also lets us make some much needed improvements to our existing parks, including the tennis court replacements at several Cary parks. We're currently in final development review for uh, design of the courts at Dunham Park. The design has already been approved for the courts at Annie Jones Park. Bid documents are being assembled with our consultant with plans to open both projects for bidding in winter of 2021. Now, you may have also heard about basketball and pickleball court replacements at Walnut Street Park. These are not bond funded, but they are moving forward and will happen sometime after the Dunham and Annie Jones projects finish up. The bonds also allocate $1 million for playground updates all around town bringing us new equipment and design elements at both Rose Streak Park and the Lazy Days Playground in Bond Park. Project kickoff is happening at the end of 2020 with virtual feedback sessions planned for early 2021. So you have no excuse, you have to give feedback because you don't even have to leave your house for it. Construction for these two playgrounds is slated for 2021. Refurbishments are also underway at Penny Road Elementary School Park where improvements are being made to several of the park's amenities. These are on track to be completed by summer 2021. We are so excited for this slate of projects and the other bond funded ones that will get started soon. We'll check back here on Carry Matters with updates from time to time, but you can always follow the progress of these projects that interest you on our website. Thanks so much for joining us here on Carry Matters and we'll see you next time.